Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to launch Windows subsystem for Linux inside VS Code. So as you can see right here, this is Ubuntu, this is Ubuntu and this is Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'm using Windows subsystem for Linux and I'm using the Ubuntu Linux distribution all right and here i have a code opened in vs code so let's go to open vs code so this is vs code right here i opened this from windows subsystem for linux as you can see here we are just up here just says um, handy code scripts visual studio code and then when you click on terminal and new terminal I prefer to have mine on the right side. New terminal, as you can see um, right here. This is just from the command line, right? So the terminal you are using here is the command line. So how do you open Ubuntu command line inside VS Code? That's actually um, very simple. So first you have to make sure you have the right extensions. So when you go to your extensions, there's a, an extension called remote WSL. You have to make sure you install it. If you can, if it's not here on your recommended, you just search for it here, remote WSL. And right, right there, it's going to show up. So this remote containers is for opening um, Docker environment and opening Terraform environment inside VS Code. In a different video, I'm gonna show you how to open dev environment in VS Code. But let's just focus on Ubuntu and WSL for now. Let's go ahead and install this extension. So now that we have installed remote WSL, let's go back here. And then from here, you just type in Control Shift P, and then you type in Remote. And one, once you type in Remote, you get different options. So here it says um, Remote WSL. You can do New WSL Windows. You have different options. But here you are just gonna do Open Folder in WSL. Reopen Folder in WSL. That's what you need to click. Reopen Folder in WSL. And then what basically happens, like you get this notification down here that says starting VSL code in VS code in WSL Ubuntu 20.04. All right. So basically right now, as you can see up here, the title has changed. This file right here, this folder that I was working on has been reopened in Windows subsystem for Linux WSL. Now, if you click on terminal, new terminal, as you can see, the terminal right here is my Windows subsystem for Linux, specifically Ubuntu. Right? Same thing that I had right here. So, that is how you open your folders in Windows subsystem for Linux in VS Code. And of course, you can always click on Control Shift P and do remote WSL and then you have um, different options of other things you can do with remote Windows subsystem for Linux. I hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and please share this video with other people that might find it useful. You can find me online at evidencen.com. That's my primary website where I have my data science blogs and portfolio and other stuff. And as time goes by, I'm going to add more and more stuff to my data science blog. And also, you can find me online at machinelearningeducation.com. So if you click on this, it will bring you to this page. I create a lot of data science content and... I end up with a lot of data science resources and I just like to share them and I put them all together in one place. And you can find it at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And also I have a newsletter where I kind of 
update people on, on what technical content I created the previous week. So you can sign up here. And when you sign up here, you also be able to get access to my weekly emails. And you can support my work directly by going to machinelearningeducation.com. And once you are here, you can click this button to support my work, however you see fit. You know, um, no pressure at all. <laughs> but um, if you take the steps to support my work directly, that would be greatly appreciated. And I might change this website in the future. So if you come here to machinelearningeducation.com, and you don't see this page, rest assured the link is going to be somewhere here in my menu. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.